Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can generate some random numbers in C. Just as a disclaimer, these are pseudo random numbers. They are a set of values or elements that are statistically random. So don't use these for any sort of cryptographic security. Now, before we begin, include these two header files at the top, stdlib and time. The first thing that we're gonna do is use the current time to generate a seed, which we need for random numbers. So we can use the s rand function, s for seed, rand for random, and then we will pass in the current time, time function pass in zero. So we will use the current time as a seed for random numbers. And then the function that you need to generate a random number using this seed is the rand function. So let's store our number within a variable, maybe number one, int number one and I will set this equal to then invoke the rand function. Now the rand function will give you a random number between zero and 32,767. So I'm guessing we probably don't need a number that large. So depending on the range of numbers that we need, we can use modulus and then the maximum number that you would like. So if I'm rolling a six sided dice, I can say modulus six. So the modulus operator gives you the remainder of any division. So technically this gives us a random number between zero and five because computers always start with zero, but you can add an offset. So if I need the numbers one through six, I can just add plus one to the end. And then maybe I'll surround this section with a set of parentheses just to make this more readable. So generate a random number between zero and five, add one. That gives us a random number between one and six. And let's just test that theory. So I'm going to use printf and we are displaying an integer and let's display number one. So we should have a random number between one and six. And our random number is two. And if I run this again, this will be a different number probably. Yep, six. Okay, now if I need to generate a couple different random numbers, I can just use this rand function again. So let's say we are rolling three dice. Number one, number two, and number three. And then I'll print these as well. So number one, number two, and number three and I'll add a new line character after each of these print statements. Okay, so this will give us three random numbers between one and six. One, three, one, three, five, six. Now it is important that we're generating a random seed. Let me show you what happens when I take this out. So this will give us the same numbers over and over again. Six, six, five, six, six, five, and six, six, five. So that's why it's important that we use a seed for random numbers. Now another thing too, if you need a larger number, you can just change this number. For example, I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, so I may need to roll a 20 sided dice, so I can just set this to 20. So 288, and let's try this again, 1254. So yeah, that's how to generate some random numbers in C. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to generate some random numbers in C.